Hello everyone. We are going to see a program to search a substring in a given string. So we are only include the header file stdio.h because we are making use of the input output statements which are scanf and printf statements. So in the main program or main function we are going to declare a character array. One is for the main string and another is for the substring. So both are character array and here str of 50 is used for storing the main string and s str of 20 is used for storing and declare the variables i, j, length 1, length 2 as integer. So we are going to print a message enter the main string. So now using uh, scanf percentage um, caret backslash n I am going to read the main string. So what this statement will do is it is going to read all the characters until an enter key is pressed into the str. And now I am going to print a message enter the search string. Now using get char, I am going to read the uh, I am going to clear the buffer because whatever enter key was there that will be stored in the buffer so that has to be cleared. So now using scanf again by using uh, the same method, I am going to read the search string. So now we are going to find the length of our main string as well as the length of the substring. So using the for i equal to 0 while i less uh, while str of i plus plus not equal to backslash 0, I am going to find the length of the str which is the main string. So now that i minus 1, I am going to store it in the length 1 variable. So why I am subtracting the minus 1 here is because it is uh, holding the length of the string including the null character. But I don't want the null character to be considered while counting the length of the string. So I am storing i minus 1 into the length 1. Now similarly, I am going to find the length of the substring into length 2. Now whatever I have computed so far that is a red string I am printing the length of the main string and the uh, search string and the search string length I am going to print in the next for printf statement. Now let us see the logic for searching a substring. So now I am using two indexes one i and one j. So both are initialized to zero. So i am going to use as an index for the main string and j I am using the index for the substring. So in the while loop I am checking whether i index is less than length 1 and j index is less than length 2. If both the conditions are satisfied then I am going to compare the character at str of i with the character at str of j. If both are same then I am going to increment both i index as well as j index and if j becomes equal to length 2 I am coming out of the loop indicating that the search string is found otherwise I am going to increment the main string index which is i and I am reinitializing the search string index j to 0 so this procedure will be uh, done until one of the conditions that is i less than or equal to length uh, 1 or i less than length 2 fails. So when it comes out of the while loop, if I check the i value against the length 1, it indicates that the such string is not present. Otherwise, the such string is present. So this is a logic regarding searching a substring in the main string. So then close the main function. So now let us see how to run and execute with some sample example. So I have getting a message enter the main string. Suppose I enter the message RBCE CSC department. Now suppose the search string is BCE. Now you can see that the red main string is RBCE CSC department. The length of the main string RBCE CSC department is 90. And the red search string is VCE. And the length of the search string VCE is 3. And the search string is present. Now let us take one more example. RBCE CSC 
and suppose uh, I give the such string as V C D E. Now you can observe that the search string is not present.